Hey, this is Josh from 1776 Effects. Today we're going to go over the fantastic circuit by John Patton, the Cardinal Tremolo. The purpose of the video is to go over the biasing and balance process on the Cardinal after the population of the PCB is complete. You'll notice I'm in a testing rig, which I highly recommend before putting it in an enclosure. The L pad is also connected to a ground point, which is important. I'm on the DC voltage setting on my multimeter. I have the black probe grounded on the enclosure testing rig. I'm going to measure the drain on Q1 and we're at 1.95. Now we want to increase that by moving the bias 1 clockwise until we get to 6 volts, which is the recommendation. Right there where it's 6. And now we'll move on to Q2 and Q3, which are the matched transistors. I'm high, so I'll move the bias counterclockwise to reduce voltage. That's the biasing for Q1 through Q3. Next, we're going to move on to setting the balance trim. You want to move your depth pot to the minimum so the LEDs will stop blinking. My LEDs are on the opposite side of the board than what you're going to have on. You want to make sure your multimeter is on the resistance setting. And you're going to measure the LDR side of each vac drill. So we have around 150 on this one. And vac drill 2, we have around 50. I use a multi-turn trimmer on mine. I highly recommend it. Just going to move it a little bit. That should decrease the resistance of Vactoral 1 when you move in a clockwise direction. So I'm at 100. Vactoral 2 is at 54, so it hasn't moved much. about 66k and we're at 63 to 66k which is close enough in my book that completes the biasing and balancing process of the Cardinal Tremolo